I can't, Dr. Q. It's for your own good. Remember who pays your salary, Alice. I do. Give it to me, Alice. I'm sorry, but I can't. Can't you control the help? What's going on? Alice won't let us have the morning paper. Trust me, Miss Emily, you don't want to see it either. Can I see it, please? Mm. Since you said the magic word. Mm. This is disgraceful. Don't talk about my daughter. She's not even a true corner man. Why don't you use the name you came here with? Oh, Tracy. Please, Tracy, like you're willing to criticize. How many times is your name been plastered all over that front page? Huh? Yes. I doubt any of it's ever been flattering. Anybody know why the press is crawling all over the gates out there? Did you kill Alcazar? Emily was caught with Sidney last night. After assuring the family that she had ended the affair. A gunman broke into their hotel room, started firing at Emily and Sonny, and then Jason came in and killed him. Wow. Busy night. She's humiliated us. Will you shut up, Tracy? I'm sorry to say my sister's right. Why are you all getting down on Emily? It's not like she asked to get shot at. Because she's having an affair with a gangster. Are you all right, Emily? Not really. Do you think you can muster just an ounce of sympathy for Emily? Why should he? She's a mob mistress. It says so on the front page. Hey, Mom, what was... Oh, man, I can't remember if it was husband number four or, or five. He was a mobster. Oh, Dylan. And he... No, 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 and then he died. Dylan? And you tried to, like, take over okay. his organization. All right, all right. The discussion is over. Tracy, Alan, you will keep your mouths closed, or I will evict a lot of you. Uh-oh. This way, Spanky, before we get kicked out of house and home. Thank you, Mom. Don't thank me, Emily. You could have gotten yourself killed. I'll bet. Em, honey, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's been horrible, Elizabeth, and the worst part is Jason. What happened? I went back to the station last night to try to make him understand, but he wouldn't listen, and he finally just shut down and then told me that he would do whatever he had to. That sounds ominous. Yeah, he's so angry. You know, Jason's always been that one person in my life that I could count on to listen and to trust me without judgment, but he can't stand the fact that I'm with Sonny. And I'm so afraid that something awful is going to happen because of it. Hi, Alice. I'd like to see Emily, please. You know, she doesn't want to be disturbed right now. Uh, it's, all, it's all right, Alice. Um, okay. Let's talk a little bit. Sure. Do you believe me now? I tried to warn you about this. I guess you've seen the papers. Thank God my boys didn't see it. But they did catch the news last night. Yeah. So you claim to love Michael and Morgan, and your not-so-secret affair with Sonny has put them smack in the middle of an ugly scandal. I had to send them out of town today to keep them away from the media. Carly, I'm so sorry. You know what? Just save it, okay? Because you say I'm the one that's selfish? You're the one hurting two innocent little children. Intentionally hurt them. Well, it's too late. Because they are going to be traumatized and confused by this for a really long time. And maybe if you would have stopped and thought about that for a minute, you could have figured that out. But you know what? Thanks for your sincerity. I really appreciate it. Carly, Alice. I'm sorry for what happened. And yeah, you're right. Sonny and I didn't handle it properly. We shouldn't have kept our relationship a secret. Try, you shouldn't even start seeing each other to begin Sonny with. Sonny and I are both single and unattached. We're doing nothing wrong. Except hurting everyone you supposedly care about. I know it's going to be an adjustment for Michael and Morgan to learn that I'm dating their dad, but we'll get through it. Sonny and I are going to be together. And everyone, including you and Jason, just going to have to deal with it. Sorry about that. Sonny hasn't spoken to him yet, so... Is he here? I really need to see him. No, he had a car take him over to the quarter mains. He probably passed you on the way over. He can't go over there. It's going to be a disaster. Well, this... <laughs> uh, I'm here to see you, Captain. You show your face around here after almost getting Emily killed. You are never to see my daughter again. Do you hear me? Alice, throw him out. Why should I? If I were you, I'd get the hell out of here while I have the chance. Uh, Nen's right. You're not going to get a lot of sympathy here, Sonny. You should be ashamed of yourself, Sonny. 
Haven't you destroyed hey, enough lives? Why don't you, you make really yourself useful and, and get rid of him? So what Look, you I'm not going to cast stones. stones. My reputation is not without time. bullets, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Alright, personally, I think it's romantic. I think Emily should be with a man that she loves. Did anybody what? ask you? I cannot believe what you did to Emily. Oh, How well, I think Lulu's a little smitten. You better watch out, because by the time Emily goes down in a blaze of bullets... I want you out of here. Lulu is going to be his next conquest. Now, Sonny. Good point, Why did I think? And just Did I ever show you the way. fourth card and the three Go card? Go on! Alright, Sonny. This is really simple. You are forbidden to see my daughter ever again. Do you I'm understand not that? Permission. I just want to let you know that I believe Emily is a wonderful woman. I'm going to continue to see her, and I would appreciate it if you didn't try to stop me. <laughs>